Muhammad receives a false revelation from the angel Gabriel that we know is a false revelation. And why is this important? Well, when Muhammad makes various statements, um, we don't believe that prophets are perfect, right? No. We don't believe that everything a prophet says is correct or accurate, exactly, right? Because he's not inspired all, in every instance. So right. So if a prophet that. believes something weird, we wouldn't hold that against the prophet. It's when he claims to be receiving revelation and that turns out to be yeah. wrong, then we've got a problem on our hands. And so many of, some, of Muhammad's uh, claims about different things. We might say, oh, well, he was an, an, you know, an illiterate 7th century caravan trader, so we're going to let him slide on those things. Not the case when he claims that he just received something from the yeah. angel Gabriel. And we actually have it in the Muslim sources where he says, in response to a question, I just got the, angel, the answer from the angel Gabriel, and it turns out to be what we, what we would recognize today as complete total nonsense. What am I talking about, Sam? Oh, well, you're talking about the following hadith. And again, it comes from Sahil Bukhari, Volume 4, Book 55, Number 546. Sahil Bukhari, Volume 4, Book 55, Number 546, where a Jew came and tested Muhammad to see whether he's a true prophet or not. So and so it's not just Muhammad claims to get a revelation. This is a man is testing him yes. to see whether he is a true prophet. Exactly, a Jew. And so yes. this is supposedly clear proof that Muhammad is who he claims to be in 100%. response to a challenge from a Jewish exactly. critic. Exactly. This is Go when ahead. Muhammad came to Medina and said, okay, you claim to be a prophet. Well, I got three tests for you. Narrated Anas, when Abdullah bin Salam heard the arrival of the prophet at Medina, he came to him and said, I'm going to ask you about three things which nobody knows except the prophet. No, but notice, no one can know these three things except the prophet, and yet Abdullah bin Salam knew them. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, what is the first portent of the hour? What will be the first meal taken by the people of paradise? Why does the child resemble its father, and why does it resemble its maternal uncle? So you got the three tests, right? Mm -hmm. Let me repeat the last one. Why does a child resemble its father, and why does it resemble its maternal uncle? Meaning his mom's brother, or her mom's brother. Allah's apostle said, now watch this. Gabriel has just now, Gabriel has just now told me of their answers. Abdullah said, he, Muhammad, or he, Gabriel, from amongst all the angels is the enemy of the Jews. That's what this Jew supposedly told Muhammad. Allah's apostle said, the first portent of the hour will be a fire that will bring together the people from the east to the west. The first meal of the people of paradise will be extra lobe. Uh, here it says cow, uh, cow date lobe. Yeah, it's fish. It's, yeah. A fish liver. It's okay. fish guts. <laughs> that will be the meal that they're going to eat in paradise, right? Yeah, that's All what right. they want. As for the resemblance of the child to its parents, if a man has sexual intercourse with his wife and gets discharged first, the child will resemble the father. And if the woman gets discharged first, the child will resemble her. On that, Abdullah bin Salam said, I testify that you are the apostle of Allah. Abdullah bin Salam further said, O oh Allah's apostle, the Jews are liars. And if they should come to know about my conversion to Islam before you, ask them about me, they would tell a lie about me. Now, I can stop there. You got mm -hmm. the point, right? Yeah, here's the point. He, Muhammad has asked three questions to test whether he's a prophet because only a prophet knows the answers to these questions. Uh, but Abdullah somehow knows the answers as well because he knows that Muhammad has gotten the right answers. Now, there are multiple problems here. Multiple, multiple problems here. Notice that the first two... His responses to the first two questions, he could have said anything, right? Yeah. He could have yeah. said the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man will be the sign of the of the you know of the, yeah. of the judgment. He could have said uh, the first meal will be roasted Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. He could have said anything, right? There, there's, he could have said anything. It hasn't happened yet, so there's no way to say, "Aha, you are a prophet because you've given the correct answer." So he's asked, you know, what's a sign uh, about a sign uh, of something that's going to occur? Hasn't happened yet, so Muhammad, but Muhammad speaks confidently. I know what it is. It's a fire that unites the the east and the west. And then he's asked about the first meal. In paradise. Well, you're going to know that. Again, you could say anything. You could say, you yeah, could say, you could say fish liver. You could say, uh, you could say, well, pork you grinds. Yeah, you could say pork grinds. You can say whatever you want, right? Um, so these offer no indication whatsoever that Muhammad is a prophet. You could say anything. You, there's no way to count that as disconfirmation until it actually happens. But the third 
The third response is something we can test. It's something that Abdullah couldn't have tested during his time, but it's something that we know is false. Muhammad is asked something that people had observed many times during his time and throughout human history. So sometimes you have a child, and sometimes it resembles the father's side of the family, yeah. and sometimes it resembles the mother's side of the family, right? I mean, you know, it could be, uh, you know, it could be kind of dead even where it has features of, uh, of the father and the mother. Uh, my, my son Luke looks like a, a carbon copy of me when I was his age, right? Yeah. Uh, my son Blaze looks very different. He looks, but he does look like my mom's side of the family. They're all blonde hair, blue eyes, and so on. Uh, my son Reed looks like my wife, looks like my wife. And so sometimes children resemble uh, exactly. different, uh, different parents and different family members. Well, Muhammad is asked about this. If you're a prophet, tell us why. And Muhammad specifically says, Gabriel gave me this answer. That's important. Gabriel told me the answer, right? So Muhammad's not saying, this is what I think. I'm just an illiterate 7th century caravan trader, but I'm going to give you an answer. Muhammad says, this comes from God through the angel Gabriel. And his response is, men and women both have discharge. And according to, the, according to the Muslim sources, it's not just men who produce semen, it's women who produce semen yeah, as well, the right? The liquid of the woman. Yes, and the, the, the two liquids mix together, right? And then, of course, after you know, staying that, in that way as, as a drop of uh, semen for a while, it eventually becomes a blood clot and so on. This yeah, is getting into days, other 40 sources. Days, yeah, 40, yeah. yeah uh, so, and, and by the way, we know all of this is wrong, other than the idea that Semen has something to do with human reproduction. Muhammad gets everything wrong. Right? Everything he could possibly get wrong, he gets wrong. But his response is that men have semen and women have semen too. Um, but you know, men discharge their semen during sex. Uh, but according to Muhammad, women discharge theirs too. And sometimes the man discharges his first, and the woman discharges, sometimes the woman discharges hers first. Whoever discharges first, whosever semen comes out first, that's who the child is going to resemble. That's exactly what he says, right? Yeah, 100%. That's Muhammad. That's now, yeah. that is total nonsense. Women have an egg. Women have an egg, and it's released, it's released a long time. It's released a long time before the man has his discharge inside the woman because the egg has to travel. The egg has a lot of traveling to do before it eventually gets to a place where the semen can fertilize it. So, the, so children should always resemble the woman. And, and, and let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me yeah. explain it differently, right? <laughs> Women don't have a discharge that's similar to men, right? So Muhammad's just totally wrong there. The only way to try and reconcile this would be for a Muslim to say, oh, it really means the egg. It really means the egg, which is the, what the woman contributes to, to the process. Well, if you're talking about the egg, the egg, the egg, that isn't released during sexual intercourse. The egg has already been traveling, right? The egg's been traveling for days. So the only way you could try and reconcile that would be that that's what dis the female's discharge is, it's the egg. Uh, but if that's the case, then the ch all children should always, always resemble their mother 100%. Exactly. Is that the case? No. no. And here's the point. What Muhammad said from a scientific perspective is total, utter nonsense. Hmm. I mean, he couldn't be more wrong if he tried. He was totally wrong, and he claimed to get that from, from the same source that he gets the Quran from. So the same source I'm getting the Quran from just told me the answer to this question, and his answer is totally wrong, ladies and gentlemen. And we know it's wrong. It's factually false. It's not my opinion. It's not, well, I think Muhammad's a false prophet or something like that. It's something we can know and test and prove that he is wrong about. And so if you continue believing him, guess what? This was to prove that he is a true prophet. This was this was in response to a challenge. If you're a true prophet, you'll know this. Muhammad says, I accept the challenge. Gabriel told me the answer, and he's wrong. And he's wrong. So guess what? He failed that test. He failed the test of prophethood, and he is not a prophet. 